if you haven't done so yet, pause the video, reread the problem first before listening on. In part A, we are asked to calculate the sound intensity. It says there, meaning a distance of 200 meters from the source of a sound. Now, that sound source is emitting 30 watts of power. And if we wish to calculate the intensity of the sound at that location, we simply take the power given to us in the problem, and then we divide that by 4 pi times the distance squared. And again, that distance was 200 meters squared. So we'll go ahead and enter that into our calculators. And when we do that, we get an intensity of approximately 5.97 times 10 to the minus five. And if we look carefully, we can see that we divided a watt by a meter squared. So our standard unit of intensity is watts per meter squared. This is the correct answer to part A of the question. And in part B, we are told that there is a microphone that's placed there. We need to figure out the power intercepted by the microphone. Now, importantly, the microphone intercepts the sound in an area of 0.75 centimeters squared. So the idea is this. We have a microphone that is intercepting the incoming intensity here. And again, the area is 0.75 centimeters squared. Now, we actually need to convert that into meters squared. So why don't we do that now? We all know that one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters, but be careful, make sure you square this conversion factor so that the centimeters squared in the numerator and the centimeters squared in the denominator would cancel out. So if you enter that into your calculator, you're going to get 0.000075. And again, the unit now is meters squared. So we have that cross-sectional area of the microphone. We know that the intensity of the sound source was that 5.97, excuse me, times 10 to the minus five watts per meter squared, and we need power. Now you could almost do this by dimensional analysis because you know that power is measured in watts. So look at the two given values and ask yourself, well, how can I take those values and create watts? And the answer would be to multiply them because as we will see in a moment, when we multiply the intensity by the area, we're going to be left with the standard unit of power, which is watts. So let's take the intensity and multiply it by the area. And when we do that, you can see that the meter squared and the denominator there and the meter squared and the numerator there do in fact cancel out, leaving us with a standard unit of power of watts. And we get around 4.48 times 10 to the negative 9 watts as the answer to part B.